personally, I don't hear anybody speaking up other than us about this. So where, where are the, the national media members uh, who carry a lot of clout? Uh, and we're talking NFL now. Peter King, Albert Breer, you know, the, the columnist on a weekly or a daily basis in some cases, Schefter. I mean, these guys, and look, they, they have built up this reputation and they've earned it. But they can sit back right now while the local medias of, of every market have to go through this and know, and, and Florio's included too, and know that on game day, these PR staffs are going to handpick and feed them certain people, certain players, uh, certain coaches to get that layer or two deeper on a specific play. Well, I would now, divide where this group. may not happen is like at the Super Bowl, where where I know Peter went a layer or two deeper uh, on a specific play call with Andy Reid. Um, but after a game where players get on buses and go, you know, go to the go to the 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 tarmac to fly out or. They're walking to their car. They're handed a cell phone from a PR guy, and Peter King's on the line. That's how this works. I've been on the NFL sideline before where, as, as a network reporter working on behalf of the team, you are bumped for national media, CBS coverage locally, uh, columnists that want to, to get on, Spanish radio. You get bumped for all these different factors. Those markets, th those avenues will continue to be served. And meanwhile, the rest of us will be gathered together and you'll be asked to jump on a Zoom call in the back room. It, it's ridiculous. And, and for the media members who are just on board with it out of fear because you agree that it's all about COVID, get out of, get out of the funk. I, I don't understand why, why you're just jumping on board with the policies that make no sense in full capacity stadiums and practices where coaches aren't allowed to be, uh, must be vaccinated to be on the, the practice field. Players don't have to be, but they can still be out there unmasked. All of these rules don't add up and fit together. I it's all say, very convenient. I don't think there's a single person in the Titans press corps that is abiding by this uh, like as a pushover. Everybody wants back in or at least some stage, like let us talk to players coming off the, off the field, which is what we would be doing at this stage anyway. Um, you know, all, all of us fear that it's going, it's gone, it's not coming I back. Don't, but personally, I don't hear anybody speaking up other than us about this. Yeah, well, I, I, don't, I don't hear many I don't, people I don't talking know. about it at all. Yeah, I don't know how many and, and, of them here's, but consider here's, it their platform, And honestly, but I don't know how much it's we're their going job. To, I don't know how much we're going to impact it. It is going to take Peter Pro King Football Writers Association is, is, That's what I'm saying. is pushing like hell. Lindsey Jones is pushing like hell. Uh, and know, people like Dan Pompey, who's a national kind of guy, he knows how I'm important it is. I'm bringing up pushing. the NFL. Peter King's pushing for the it. NFL behalf, the NFL will lead the charge on he this. doesn't need it. The NFL will set the standard for this. Yeah, for, for, for all the other sports. Yes. Now, baseball's giving it back a little bit already. You're allowed now to talk to players on the field, like mm -hmm. in batting practice kind of thing. So they've won some back. And it's big in baseball. I mean, it's big in football, don't get me wrong. But in baseball, there's a dailiness to it. You're around these guys every day. Imagine if every day you had to be on Zoom. Um, and they still are games. on Zoom. I mean, we have it every day in football in that we're covering it on a daily basis. But they've got games to report on every day, and they're only doing it by Zoom. And you can't work on anything in an interpersonal no, they, Yeah, way. they still are on Zoom post-game. Right, but uh, during the day. And pre-game. Yeah, you can work on something that's not game-related, at least, with a guy on the, on the field. That's some progress in one of the major sports, at least. I, I would worry about unintended consequences if I'm the NFL or anyone else taking this stance against media being around and, and pushing them further and further away. Because in one instance, the thinking is it's easier for us doesn't take as much manpower to run a Zoom conference as opposed to a bunch of media being in-house around it. And we get to control our message. We get to tweet. We get to write. We get to, you know, a, a local example, the Jim Wyatts of the world that cover the Titans for the Titans website. They get to write what we want them to write. We get to tweet out videos we want, and we shut them further out. Unintended consequence of that is you are creating more and more of an adversarial relationship with everyone who covers your team. And I put covers in air quote for those that are watching on, on video right now because you're not allowing them in. There is no cooperation at that point. 
When you push people further and further away, you think that you're controlling the message. That's one message. There's going to be a thousand other messages of people who hate you because you've pushed them away. And it's not going to be this spirit of cooperation with media relation departments and with journalists that cover teams simply because they've been pushed away and now the market is all adversarial. I don't think that's good for anyone. You create more opinionists, you create less informed opinionists, yep. and you create less qualified opinionists. Now, can Is we, that smart, or do you just want Paul Kuharski and Joe Rexroad to be the opinionists and other people to be more reliant, uh, you know, and us to be journalistic opinionists as opposed to everybody now thinking, well, I can't get access to guys, I'll I just mean, write there, what I you're think. You're not going to stop that regardless. Like, there's going to be a bunch of opinionists, but the problem is when you have people that are quote unquote journalist mm-hmm. that have been there when you push all of them away and now they join the loud opinionist online that aren't informed about anything then you've got a bigger problem so while you can't stop online opinion from formulating anywhere if you're a pro league or team or a college league whatever it is you can help it by being more cooperative allowing the, the baseball the original example college baseball Allow as many people as that want to to cover your sport within reason. Every website, every team's following, bring them in. Bring them in, show them the event in Omaha, get them on your side. You're going you're gonna to catch a lot more flies with honey that way as opposed to saying stay home and cover the event from your living room because we don't want you here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time Outkick 360 goes live. We are live weekdays, 11 a.m. Central, noon Eastern, right here across the Outkick Network. And while you're at it, like this video and let us know what you think in the comments below.